Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video lesson, we are going to find the value of this given problem that not only involves the radicals but also the exponents. And here's our problem: seven plus four times square root of three power seven forty-three times two minus square root of three power fourteen eighty-six. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this part only. Two minus square root of three power fourteen eighty six. And here I have copied it down. And now let's focus on its exponent fourteen eighty six. This could be written as two times seven times forty three. So therefore, we can write this one as two minus square root of three, and then power two times seven forty-three. Now we are going to apply this power rule. So this could be written as two minus square root of three, and then power two, and we're going to put a bracket, and then power. Seven hundred and forty-three, and now let's focus on this part. Two minus square root of three power two, and here I have copied it down, and we are going to simplify this one. Now let's recall this famous formula: a minus b square equal to a square minus two ab plus b square, and we are going to apply to simplify this binomial. I'm going to call this part as an a, and this is our b. So this could be simplified as two square minus two times two times square root of three, and then plus square root of three whole square. So this could be written as two square is four minus four times square root of three plus this square and square root they undo each other. This becomes three. Let's combine these like terms. Three plus four is going to become seven minus four times square root of three. Now we can see that this whole thing has been simplified to this seven minus four times square root of three. So therefore, I am going to replace this one by seven minus four times square root of three, and then power seven forty three. And now we can see that this part, this whole expression, has been simplified to this one. And now here is our next step. Let's focus on this whole expression. And here I have copied it down. And now let's focus on this part. This one I am going to replace it by this one. So therefore, our this expression could be written as seven plus. Four times square root of three, and then power seven hundred and forty-three, and then times this is is seven minus four times square root of three, and then power seven forty-three. And now we are going to use this well-known property. So this could be written as seven plus four times. Square root of three times seven minus four times square root of three, and then a whole power seven hundred and forty-three. And now this whole thing represents the product of sum and the difference. So therefore, we are going to use this well-known formula. So this could be written as seven square minus. Four times square root of three whole square, and then power seven forty three. And here I have copied down this part over here. As you can see, let's go ahead and simplify it over here separately. Seven square is forty nine minus four square is sixteen times this square, and square root is gone, so this become. Times three, and now this is going to give us forty-nine minus forty-eight. That is equal to just one. 
So therefore, I am going to replace this whole part by one. So therefore, this could be written as one and then whole power 743 and one power 743 is same as simply one. So thus our this whole expression has been simplified to just one. So thus our simplified answer turns out to be one. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.